हरे कृष्णा माता जी दीज आर द टू सेट ऑफ ड्रेस मटेरियल दैट आई हैव टेकन फॉर स्टिचिंग तुलसी स्कर्ट आई हैव टेकन द स्मॉलर वर्शन सो दैट इट विल बी फास्टर टू कंप्लीट आई शो यू वन विथ मशीन स्टिचिंग एंड अनदर विथ हैंड स्टिचिंग this is the right side that is the tulsi skirt uh, side and this is the lining cloth so what i have done is i have tucked i have kept both pieces one on above i have tucked it so that uh, it doesn't move around while stitching so i am going to take for the hand stitching i am taking the needle i am I have taken two threads. It's not single thread. It is two thread because two threads will only stay stronger. So this is one of the tool used for uh, inserting the thread. So this is available everywhere. So you, this piece has to be inserted into the hole of the needle, and then the thread has to be inserted. into the hole of this um, guide which is there if you pull it that's it it is done the needle and needle uh, the thread has been inserted into the needle now what i do is i put a knot at one end so it is a double thread that i have taken oh, sorry so this is has got cut and taken no one you just have to pull the guide so the thread gets locked into the needle so this is the guide that i'm using for needle it has got a loop this has to be inserted into the needle and then thread has to go in this loop once you pull it the needle uh, is with the thread so now for the manual what i am doing is i am taking both the pieces together i'll fold it and then start sewing it so whatever you are doing the hemming that should be on the lining side so what i do here is i fold this it is folded like this then the needle is given to both the bottom and the top uh, clocks then the thread is taken around the needle so that it it makes a knot so this way you have to hem the whole thing
don't pull it too much there should not be any wrinkles it should be straight i'm making a little bit to complete it sooner but you can you can do it in a smaller thing not too small medium like this size is good enough See, while stitching the back side, you can see the threads are seen. I have taken the dark color just to show you. But when you choose, choose the same uh, material color. So that the back side thread which is seen as small dots will not be visible if the color is same. So these are the dots. Like the thread is taken on both front and like the lining cloth and the material so it should not be seen when you are making the proper dress This thread is taken around the needle because the hemming will be stronger. Otherwise the hemming will come out easily.
thread gets knotted and this is the problem. <laughs> So this one end is completed, so it looks like this. So I'm going to the other side. Here too, we have to start it here. You need not cut the thread, you can continue the hemming on top of it. There's no need to cut the thread and then start newly. So on the other side you have to keep little more wider because we need to insert uh, the thread for tying the pot. So I am taking a little longer one and then continuing with the hemming. See, if you see the difference, this is a smaller width, this is a little bigger width. Say this is quarter inch, this is one third of it. I'm making bigger stitches just to complete it soon but you have to make little smaller one as I showed in the beginning. Just joining the thread, the other thread has got over. Since the loop is there, I'm inserting the thread into it and then putting it onto the needle.
we have almost come to the edge so here what we have to do is we have to first cover up this one and then close the top one so what I'll do is I'll stop here I'll put the knot and cut the thread now we will have to fold this side and complete it You can even complete before making the top end where we have to put the skirt thread. You can complete this edge and then do the other one so that it is little more easier. So this is done. I'll just make a knot by inserting the needle and then cut it. See now it is almost done. So I'm just looping this. The top portion at the edge we had left it. So I'm completing that. You can even finish the sides and do the top and bottom. That way also is okay. So now I'll just tie a, put two three normal stitch and then lock it. So the dress is ready. The bottom is stitched, the top is stitched, the top is little wider and the bottom is smaller. So in this, if you want to fix the lace, like for example, this is the ribbon I have taken. You can just place it here and do a running stitch. You measure how much is the length. Keep a little extra because we need to fold it. So here what we can do is we will use the running stitch, there is no hemming required. So fold the head, folding the edge keep it right. This is smaller one so I am keeping right at the uh, bottom edge. But if you are making the making the skirt for the pot it will be a little bigger. Leave some space at the bottom and then start off. So you have to start from the bottom. Take a different thread. This is not good.
sorry fold this you can see i have put the knot here so now what we are doing is we are going to do the running stitch just put it down then again bring it up so this way you'll have to make for the whole skirt it's down then up down then bring it up make smaller one if you make bigger one it will not look the threads will be more looking uh, the look will not be so good on the lace so try to make the smaller one and match the color when you are taking the thread i am making little big but you can make it smaller when you are doing it because as small as it will look good because the thread will not be seen so much on top otherwise you can see the thread will be seen like this bottom can be big but top try to maintain it as small as possible so you can see the smaller portion is seen on top the bigger portion is seen on the bottom if you make bigger it will look so ugly so you don't please make it as small as possible this is the called as running stitch be careful to lock on both the side otherwise if you pull the thread will come off because we are not doing any knotting like how we did the hemming for the sides ensure that there's no wrinkle when well, before you proceed to the sides you come to the edge fold it now do the same thing for the top vertical side then again fix the lace on top
match the thread color to the lace otherwise with the running stitch the threads will look very awkward You can also do the hemming on the sides instead of running stitch but it depends on the lace what you select. If the lace has got more threading like this then the threads will come away when you do hemming so it is better to use running stitch. See if everything is straight because we have come to the finishing edge. So here what you can do is because you are finishing it, you can stitch in this way to the maximum edge of the lining and the Tulsi skirt dress. Uh, dress material so this is done now i'll tie it and put the knot and cut it off you can put two loops around the needle and then lock it. So the dress is ready. Now we have to insert the skirt tying thread. I have made similar color like I stitched in the machine and I made the tying thread. You can use this white thread. This is used for skirts or you can use ribbon or you can use uh, plastic thread or something so with a safety pin see one why we switch uh, when we stitch the top portion we made it little bigger that is to insert this thread So if you whatever is a small piece left over in the cotton uh, lining cloth you can make use of it and make the tying thread. Just to maintain the similarity of skirt and the tying thread we use the same color. So now the skirt is ready and you can tie it to the pot. So when you are tying it, you can make the wrinkle closer to the front and then you tie it to the pot. This is how it looks like. So this edges you can either use a velcro you can stitch the velcro on both the side and then just seal it or you can just like that leave it or you can use a press button you can stitch a press button and lock it so that the gap is not seen so this is how the tulsi skirt will look like so this is completely handmade So the thing what you have to take care while doing is the bottom should be smaller the top edge should be little bigger because the thread has to go in and when you are making the hemming 
ensure that you make a knot and try to maintain this distance and you can see the knot whatever we have uh, like we surrounded the thread around the needle and then pulled it so that knot will be seen here why this knot is it will not easily come off like what we do in running stitch so it will stay stronger and uh, and always use the same color this i have used only to show you how it will look like but use the same color when you are when you are making the tulsi skirt thank you